Yesterday, the uh, court issued our, uh, the OPSU's application. It's being served today on the ministry and on the directors of the ODSP program and Ontario Works program. Uh, we're seeking from the courts uh, a date to try to get interim relief uh, because of the, uh, the any delay in this matter has serious consequences for the, uh, the vulnerable population that are in receipt of these statutory social assistance benefits. What we're getting is that the system isn't able to perform the way it was intended. We were sold a basket of goods that this would allow us more time to communicate and work with our clients directly and instead the administrative tasks and just making the system do what we need it to uh, is what's so cumbersome. We have to do processes that are outside what the system design is just to force it to do what we need it to do and worst of all it's not able to accomplish many of the tasks so work is not being done it's just creating a bigger and bigger backlog that has to still be addressed at some point in time so only the focus is on pure money matters right now everything else is off the table so it's creating a huge burden uh, in terms of uh, eligibility and all sorts of other problems like that and part of the uh, court action that we're taking is uh, twofold one uh, try and make life at work for our members easier, but also to give voice, give a voice to people who uh, normally don't have a voice, and uh, that's I think part of what, as a tr so trade union with a social conscience, we can give that voice to people that don't have one. From our observation from the last month's pay run, we have a much shorter cycle for to hit the December 22nd pay run, and there's no banking days after our pay run time. So even in the normal course of business, there's usually a few adjustments that need to be made just because there, somebody moved or other consequences. This system design has so many flaws that we won't have the same opportunity that we did last month, this month, to, to create the manual checks and to at least ensure that people are not in the most precarious positions uh, and not ac having access to their money. So that's the biggest problem for the December 22nd payment is that there's no window after we discover what the problems are to remedy the problem before people have their landlord saying, where's my money? Or uh, they're trying to get their prescriptions filled and they don't have a, a drug card that's accurate. Um, th these are major life um, moments for people. We can't afford to have these things go wrong. People rely on these services every month for their life. So um, we just need this to be seamless and unfortunately we don't predict that that's going to happen this month. Um, and the system uh, appears to be so fundamentally flawed uh, that the workers can't fix it without doing significant uh, uh, what they call workarounds. Uh, what you're so it's just a crazy quilt patchwork of workarounds. Uh, and so it's not a question of just minor problems but significantly flawed systems. So what we're hoping for here is that a judge will uh, grant an injunction directing the government to uh, go back to use the old system until they fix the problems with the new one.